Hi, I'm Gretchen Rivas with Relax Massage Therapy and today we're going to talk about Swedish massage techniques for the shoulders. For this you will need oil, a massage table, and workspace. Whenever you're working on somebody, oftentimes more than anything else, shoulders are where people have problems. It's where they store a lot of stress and a lot of tension and a lot of their aches and pains. People carry the world on their shoulders as the saying goes. So you always want to warm up the tissue when you're working on somebody. And I've, always, I've already oiled his back up and done some warming up over here. So whenever you're working on the shoulder area, there's several different things you can do. You want to check all the rotator cuff muscles. So you have infraspinatus here. Make sure you clear that out. Work through there. Supraspinatus. Then you have your subscapula that's deeper in and your teres muscle that's in there uh, down in here. And then also you want to get through here and the trap work on the trap muscle and remember your lat comes up here and attaches up through here too so you can get in here and work this area through here to open that up. They have a lot of issues going on in the rhomboids. You can put an arm up here if it's not too painful for them. It helps open up the scapula area and you can get in there and open this area up along the rhomboids and the erectors through the shoulder area here. It helps you see what's going on and assess the shoulder a little bit more. You can so you do all this work on the shoulder when they're in the face down position and then when they turn face up you can also do a little bit more work to help loosen up the shoulder by working in the pec area and doing a little bit more range of motion. And those are some techniques for Swedish massage for the shoulder.